Who here hasn't been to space? Why? <laughs> you better not throw up on my ship. Approaching jump in three, two, one. What's up and what's going on everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel where we discuss all things movies, TV, streaming, hot topics and more and in this video we're going to be reacting to the She-Hulk featurette that came out about two days ago. We're going to go into some of the rumors that are surrounding the show with some of the cameos we might see and we'll give you guys our thoughts on the featurette quickly after. So we're going to jump right into this right now. Okay. We go two hours in the mic. Come on, the whole time. see what She-Hulk's talking about. <laughs> Bro, I'm excited for this. That I've be been so excited funny for though, this. funny watching a rant. It's true. I am a Hulk. And watch it. Jennifer Walters is an attorney who has accidentally taken in the Hulk's blood and has become... Like a chick Hulk. A She-Hulk? Exactly. She-Hulk, attorney at law. That's got a nice ring to it. That name better not stick. There's something so surreal and so funny about a giant six-foot-seven Hulk in the courtroom. <laughs> It was about putting a real human being into these absurd situations. <laughs> it's just like as cool and edgy as we can get away with. Girl, your ass looks crazy right now. It's something that you think you knew, which is law shows, and something that you think you know, which is Marvel shows, smashed together. No! This show is so much fun. It all has this tongue-in-cheek, self-referential thing going on. In the comics, she broke the fourth wall and was super meta. Just want to make sure that you don't think this is one of those cameo every week type of shows. Well, except Bruce. And Blonsky. And Wong. She spent all this time becoming a lawyer, and this idea of being a superhero is not appealing to her. Being a superhero is a trial by fire. Oh, I'm not a superhero. I just want to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. There is no going back to what you were before. Who's gonna protect the world if not people like you? This is expanding the definition of what a Marvel Studios production can be. This is a radical, revolutionary show. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. Yeah, I'm, I've been saying I'm, I'm really excited yep. for uh, She-Hulk. I think She-Hulk's going to be really good. Um, uh, my only thing with She-Hulk, excuse me, is at the end of this, if we don't get, I'm sick of Professor Hulk, if we don't get yeah. Savage Hulk back, mm -hmm. I, so, I, I can't I continue mean, to see that shit. Hearing that we're getting Secret Wars and everything, know what happens with Hulk and everything, we'd have to start progressing towards something with that i hope so right i don't i don't see why he would just stay here and continue to do what he's doing like it's he's he's not he's not a factor right now. right well man okay i'll say this so whenever they first announced she hulk right i i think we the first time i heard about it was actually you informing me on this channel right and right. i think if you go back and find it you can almost visually see my eyes roll from the back of my head i was like i, I don't care i don't it's not one of the series i give a shit about because we're in this swampy phase four, or I mean phase five, phase four, sorry. The swampy, things are kind of going slow, and honestly, this is what I've wanted. I am yeah. so excited for it now, because it is, you know, you talk about interconnected tissue of the MCU, this is living in the MCU world now. Right. You know, you watched, you know, for those of us that watched uh, um, uh, Moon Knight, it wasn't it felt like a separate entity of the MCU world. And even I'll go into... Yeah, Miss Marvel was a little better about it. You know, they threw out the uh, the uh, references and you did see certain of you know, the agents show up and things like that. Right. But this is like living inside the yeah. MCU. There's heroes yeah. everywhere. This is what I wanted to see. And it is so great that not only they choose to do this, but they're choosing to do it with the character that can comment on all of it. You right. know, it's this great thing of She-Hulk is, you know, she's a lawyer, she's a woman, she's walking on the street and you see everyone getting ready to fight her and she can just be like, y'all fucking see this? Right. Or yo, right. or yo, I gotta do this now? And so, no, I mean, I think it, Yeah. I, this is one of the, th I've been <clears throat> That's more what excited I've been for saying. this than a lot of things. That's what I've been yeah. saying since the first trailer. Since that first trailer, it looked really fun to me. It just, it looked not just fun, but it looked like my big thing that I'm always screaming about with the MCU, the connective tissue, the connective tissue is there. You see the other elements of the 
wider MCU just mm -hmm. in a two minute trailer. And that's yeah. what I like about it. That's what I'm saying. If we're just getting, we're getting Wong, we're getting Blonsky, we're getting the clips of Daredevil, we're getting uh, the mentions of um, <laughs> other heroes and other things like that. Right. In, that in a two minute trailer, I can only imagine what the nine episodes is going right. to be yeah. like. So that's why I'm like, I'm I'm super excited. Well, and I, mean, I always throw it back to I think I said it last week on our, our She Hulk the reaction trailer. Shang Chi, when you see Wong and Abomination fighting, mm -hmm. with no. It just happens, right? He just walks in and sees it. Being a fan in the theater for me, that was one of my favorite parts of the whole movie. Because it, it does give you that as a Marvel fan, you can't tell me something like, <gasps> and as they build their world, you'll right. see so many more of those moments where it's like, holy shit, was that just so and so? And even if they have nothing to do with the movie, they're, they don't have any lines, any plot, any dialogue. It's just like, did you just see Cyclops run across the screen? Was that, right. was that, did he just right. shoot a laser beam there? You know, and it, it, it gives you that immersion. Into a world that they. I mean, that's, it gives you what it's supposed do. to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be a cinematic universe. That's why when people <laughs> say like things like, "Oh man, I wish we could just have a movie, a, a Marvel movie, be a Marvel movie." Uh, sorry, uh, we're thirty movies in, <laughs> and like what seven series? It's a it's a cinematic universe. It's right. not its own thing. And yeah, not like... to mention that I'm completely opposite. Where I I went, I've gone through the standalone. I've gone through the origin stories. I've gone through all of it. We've built for this. We have, since we were children, basically, built for the stuff we're getting in this show. Right. right? This is a taste of what we're getting, and that's what we've been ready for. I'm sorry, but, like, this whole New York being an isolated... But no, there's so many damn heroes that exist in New York, and we don't get to see them interact yet. Well... It's about time. Let's go. I, like, I, I, I'm definitely for that, but I will say this. I will... Because I always say this. Like, because, like, people said that about Moon Knight. And I'm, 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 agree, I'm in an agreement with, like, we have now had how many movies <coughs> and shows since Eternals? Uh, how many shows... And I guess movies too since Moon Knight, and not one mention of Arisham. That's not, what I was about not, to say. Not, I'm waiting for someone to not bring one up mention of Conchu. Huge hands sticking <laughs> yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, we still got. I mean, like you would. I would think. I personally would like to think that's why Namor's pissed. I personally, I would yeah. think you know, like the the uh, surface world is There's now fucking up with our. You know, but even though I know that's not what they're. That's not the uh, line that they're going to be using. But um, there's just so much going on, like you said. But I will say. Just like I said in Moon Knight, when people were saying like, oh, well, you're telling me none of the other Avengers saw the sky moving. Well, yeah, they're the Avengers. They're not the Powerpuff Girls. They're not sitting around yeah. the phone <laughs> waiting for the mayor to call. Yeah, like, oh, right. there's trouble, you know? It's like... They kind of have really, a lot of shit going yeah, on. Yeah, there's a lot of shit going on. Now, I will there. say, I'm going to go ahead and give a shout out to ADCTW. And Namor Khan both said recast T'Challa. We are definitely going to get to that we conversation. Will. And Namor Khan said uh, MCU Professor Hulk is trash. And before we address Almost. that, Most definitely. ADCTW said we need Thor Ragnarok Hulk back. So I yes. I those in. We I need Thor Ragnarok Hulk back and we need Thor Ragnarok Thor back. I mean, but that's the thing because, I mean... Hulk fans, I mean, Professor Hulk has a point in the comics, right? There's a, there, there's a story to it, but like, that's not why people are fans of the Hulk, right? That well, that the, uh, Professor Hulk doesn't no, bring any yeah, fans. That's to well, the, table. the thing is, I can understand now. It's like <clears throat> after he snapped everything, he his arm is healing, whatever. So he's sitting around, whatever, healing arm, just being a professor, just the smart side of everything and maybe through this like that's where after he's healing his arm and everything he comes along with his cousin and everything and he starts that's i don't know maybe that's just we get somewhere of what he's been doing in this she hulk show and then but hopefully like we've talked about by the end of this there's like no need for no. it's time to yeah, it's I, time to progress his and if sure. anything mark ruffalo deserves it for he sure. deserves his story progressed because he's been around one of the longest and he's he's played that he's played the character well it's just they they're not portraying it how we really want him to be portrayed i yeah. think it's that but it's also like when i look at professor hulk the mcu version i almost feel like it's the same thing that happened with with beast in the uh, uh first class movies <coughs> It, it, I don't know, they don't capture the... Because even Professor Hulk, yeah, he's this, he's still dealing with Hulk issues, though, right? Where this is the happy, fun-loving, haha. It, they're not capturing the, the tortured side of it, right? The, the Hulk is still a rageful person, regardless. But I think it's... Like I was, I was starting with, Professor Hulk don't bring any Hulk fans. Well, that's, that's kind of like I was like, just about to say to what Q said. I, I, 
I don't give a shit what he's been doing as Professor Hulk this time. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't care. Yeah. No, I feel I, like... I mean, because it's like, he's... Like, even, like, I've seen that meme on Twitter uh, comparing the the clap he did against Abomination yeah. in the in the 08 version mm-hmm. uh, compared to the trailer. It's, it's vastly different. Yeah, it is. It's right. vastly different because it's a completely different Hulk and it's like... We have that is the most downgraded character in the MCU. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm sorry. He's in the yoga Whatever. pose. <laughs> He's yeah, in the right. fucking That is the yoga. one major thing in Infinity War that Hope's made me scream. Yoga. <laughs> was when Thanos shows up without even using the stones and beats the fuck out of the Hulk. I was like, hold on, excuse me. Yeah, is this the same? When, when, it was Thor, Hulk, and Loki. Right, no stones. I was like, hold on, hold on, wait, 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 no. It right. just it didn't work out for me, and then it, the, it, instead of getting his redemption, we get Professor Hulk, and it's like. Well, you know that's the Russo brothers saying that they just didn't know what to do with Hulk in that, and I, to, I'm for me, I love the Russo brothers, mm-hmm. but I'm thinking to myself, there's a plethora of fucking things uh, I, I can think to do say. with the Hulk. Well, but they had, <laughs> in they that had movie. The, and this is the last thing I'll say about this. They had the sign line because who were the three strongest people walking at that point? In that in, in Infinity War, it was the Hulk, Thor, and. Oh, okay, Doctor Strange also counts, so I was going to say Wanda. But they, Thor was hammerless, went through what he went through, had to go, so that's how they off-worlded him and got him, because he could have stopped the shit from the start. Hulk, they don't just have to weaken him. They had to just basically nerf him down and then make him, and that pissed me off, they made him a bitch. He was, so he was scared of Thanos. I didn't, I didn't agree with that at all. Was that the implication? Yes, he wouldn't come out and fight yeah. him. Was that what it was? Okay, I didn't, I, got his I, ass never, beat, I thought and it he was just like, Hulk out. was just like, I don't want to fight. <laughs> Does I, that sound like Hulk to you? I mean, shit. I, I didn't. I, I, he got his ass beat. That wasn't Hulk to me either, I, I, so I didn't I, know. And then, yeah, the third would be... Well, Doctor Strange went to space, but then Wanda was separated with Vision, going through her bullshit. So they had to, they had to basically sideline all their strongest. And all the other ones, they found a logical, like, canonical way to do it. Hulk, they just said, hey, you're weak, bro. Well, you know... I, Shout out Cornelius in the chat. We they, see you. We, they, we, they made that. They, they really ain't even make the Hulk Buster suit all that either. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, it was a bitch in the suit. Too. Yeah, <laughs> like, you know, I, I'll tell you when I saw when I saw Infinity War the first time. <laughs> I do love that. And, and, yeah. <laughs> and, and Iron Man says, "You want a piece?" And he goes, "He goes, no, but but when do I ever get what I want?" He's like, "That's right, buddy. Here we go." And then <laughs> I'm, thinking, I'm thinking to myself, "Fuck, Hulk's about to come out and about to beat." And when he didn't, I'm like. Wait. Where's the green guy? <laughs> like, wait, what's going on? Why is Hulk not out? So, yeah, no, I, I for me, it's just, I wanted it to revert back to Savage Hulk, but it definitely looks like it's going to be a fun show. Um, yeah. A, a fun connective tissue show, I think, you know, leading up into the wider. Uh, I just hope if they sure. don't do whatever with him and somewhere in this multiversal story, we'll bring in a different variant of Hulk or something. Because there's so... But, you know, that's my, that is, that is my issue with the multiverse. The is that, that it's such a, it's such a, a bailout that you can be like, yeah. well, it's like, why do we have to take characters from a universe we don't give a fuck about? We've mm-hmm. never spent time in. Right. To pull in who's not even going to be the same. They're not yeah. going to be, you know, so it's, oh, I, I mean, hate that shit. It's I hate that, that. And I was reading, uh, rereading when Batman does the Infinity Suit. Not the Infinity Suit, it's the, the, the Hyper Suit. Basically, it's the strongest suit he ever did when they go and there's a point where Superman's in a dark dimension and they're basically like, no Superman's ever survived this dark dimension. But your Superman is the prime Superman. You know, that, that's the whole thought of R616. It's the prime universe. Yes. They are the best. It is. Best. It's the best of the best. So if any su- so just like that argument, if any Superman can do it, it's the prime Superman. Just like if any Hulk could do this, it's it's 616 Hulk. They just got to get... He deserves it, like Q said. They got to get him back. Um, I know, you know, rumored is World War Hulk, but I mean, uh, She-Hulk was... She-Hulk looks like it's going to be a good like, I'd, 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 be, I I'd be very happy if we got something for Ruffalo at D23 mm-hmm. or some shit. Well, as annoyed as I am with Professor Hulk, I am still very excited for this show. This is a show yeah. that was not only not on my radar, I didn't I didn't I didn't care. I didn't want to I didn't who gives a shit about She-Hulk is what I was thinking. Oh, I give a lot of shits about She-Hulk now. I'm excited right. for this show. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be good. Uh, As always, question is for you guys. Let us know down below in the comments what you guys thought of the She-Hulk featurette. Are you ready for the show? Is it now one of your most anticipated? Was it before? Is it cool to see all the connective tissue with the wider MCU? What are you thinking about Hulk? Do you think he's going to revert back to Savage Hulk? Or 
obviously he has to. There's no way they continue on with Professor Hulk after this. So what do you think, though? Do you think they're going to continue on? Do you think that this is going to be the end of Professor Hulk? We're going to start getting Savage Hulk. So let me know all these things down below, what you guys think of the show, what you guys think of this trailer. I'm interested to know. Let me know down below in the comments. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you in the next video.